but you guys don't give a shit about these mods. A few days ago, I posted a poll for you guys asking what your top priorities are in terms of modifications out of the four that I posted, which were wheels and tires, suspension, exhaust, or aero and aesthetic modifications. I did not anticipate the response that that poll got nearly 600 responses, and I was very interested and very curious to see what you guys actually prioritize in terms of modifications. A few guys left a left comment saying that performance mods are your priority, but there's a reason I left performance out of the four choices. I think if I put performance on there, number one, everyone would have, cho would have chosen that as their priority because it seems to be the top of everybody's mind. Number two, all of these things really can fall under performance because there are performance elements to each of them. Of course, wheels and tires attribute or, and contribute to performance. Suspension obviously is a form of performance in terms of handling. Aero can be as well, depending on what you're going for. And obviously exhaust modifications lend to horsepower gains. So I left performance out because it's such a broad category. But out of these four, I was surprised to find out that you guys really don't care seemingly about aesthetics or aero. Out of the nearly 600 responses, only 8% of you would prioritize aesthetics. That's really surprising to me considering the fact that everybody adds splitters, everybody adds a spoiler, everybody does a chrome delete. It seems crazy to think that only 8%, which is 45 people out of the 600 responses, say aero or aesthetics is a priority because it seems like everybody goes that route first. By the way, I wanna make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel right now because I'm going to be announcing a pretty substantial giveaway. I'm gonna say well over $300 value coming up here in just the next few days. So make sure you're subscribed because you don't wanna miss that opportunity. I'm also gonna give you an idea of what my priorities would be in terms of modifications, especially after getting this far with this Q50 and looking back on things, what I might do a little bit differently. In third place, again, another surprise is suspension because it seems like Everybody is always saying, get bags, get bags, get coilovers, get coilovers. That seems to be a big thing when people ask this question. But surprisingly enough, only 15% of you out of this poll, which is something like, what, what 27? No, sorry, 85. Out of, out of the 600, 85 of you said suspension is a priority. What we got left, wheels and tires and exhaust. Let me know in the comments right now. Pause this video, go down to the comments and let me know what you think out of those two the priority was or what your priority is in terms of modifications. I'm curious to know what you guys do. Once you get a fully stock vehicle, what's your first thing? What first modification do you tackle? So anyway, with the second most votes, wheels and tires, wheels and tires. 28% of you said wheels and tires is a priority when modifying vehicles. Now, when we're talking Q50 specifically, I, I think that has to be a priority, honestly, because they come with these crappy run flat tires. And I gotta say, the Q50 wheels are ugly. It, it's just my opinion. I've talked about it before, but I am not a big fan of the Q50 wheels, any of them, honestly. But out of the total 567 responses, 278 of you said exhaust is your number one priority when it comes to modifying vehicles. Honestly, I have to agree with this because it seems like every vehicle that I've ever owned in the past, the first thing that I did was either, uh, you know, put a custom uh, exhaust system on it or just cut the muffler off. So I think exhaust is always my number one priority too. I think because it's relatively expensive uh, and it makes a big difference. Uh, you know, uh, even, even a car that isn't the best looking, if it sounds good, it grabs people's attention and, and you know to me driving around in a vehicle you're sitting in the car so you're not necessarily seeing what it's doing on the outside and most of the time or what it looks like on the outside and most of the time we're not driving crazy anyway a lot of these cars are our daily drivers uh, so you spend most of the time inside the car so having that nice exhaust note as you drive down the highway that's a big priority to me so i tend to agree with the nearly 300 people that responded to this poll saying exhaust is their number one priority in modifying their vehicle and we know there's a lot of good sounding vqs out there and obviously most of them had the speed culture studios catback system installed but exhaust I think has to be a priority for the VQ because if you want to produce any additional performance or any additional horsepower from your car, you gotta let it breathe a little bit better. And knowing how raspy and crazy the VQ can be, a good quality catback system is important. If you're new to the channel and new to the Speed Culture, make sure you check out the Speed Culture Studios custom catback system videos. I think you'll be pretty impressed with how good this VQ can sound with a proper catback system like the Speed Culture Studios catback. Speaking of the VQ37, you guys are going to want to be subscribed to this channel because I have a VQ37 specific giveaway coming up in the next few days and you're not going to want to miss this one. Again, over $300 value 
stick around. To be quite honest, I thought the votes for out of these four categories would be a little bit more evenly distributed. I figured exhaust, either exhaust or suspension, actually, I figured would be at the top, uh, but I didn't think there'd be such a gap. We're seeing about 50% of people saying exhaust is priority, and then 28% of people saying wheels and tires, and then only, what, 15% of people saying suspension is a priority, and then just 8% saying aesthetics and aero. So again, there's quite a range with exhaust being substantially higher on the list than any other modification. So I think generally I agree in the order that people uh, selected. I put a lot of emphasis on the exhaust system. I think that's one of my favorite changes to a car, mm -hmm. but we know that wheels, wheels alone dramatically changes the overall look of the car immediately. It's like one of the biggest differences uh, it's like one of the one of the biggest aesthetic changes that can be made to a car, even without suspension. If you slap a new set of nice wheels on the car, totally different vehicle. So I understand why people prioritize that. Uh, suspension, I figured, would be much closer to wheels and tires because if you are looking for performance upgrades to your car, suspension makes a huge difference. We do know that tires, especially if you're upgrading from those crappy run flats, make a massive difference in how the car handles. But when you lower that center of gravity and you stiffen up, uh, the overall feel of your vehicle. Hard to beat that. And like I said at the beginning, it's very surprising to see how low aesthetics and aero fell on the list because it seems like everybody immediately, first thing they do is put on a front splitter or a rear diffuser or side splitters or a, a duckbill spoiler. It just seems like that's the first thing people do, but it comes in dead last on the list at only 8% of people responding as that being a priority. But it's very, very interesting to see how you guys think. And I, I appreciate your participation in this poll. Uh, it's just kind of fun to see where people's heads are at. A little bit of a different video today, but I wanted to share some information with you guys and, and get your feedback, get your additional feedback down in the comment section below. If you didn't participate in that poll, or even if you did, let me know in the comments what you think uh, your priority is in terms of modifying your vehicle or what you think about how this list turned out. Uh, always appreciate your engagement. Always appreciate your support. And guys, again, if you missed me saying it the other two times in this video, huge, huge giveaway coming up uh, for the month of December. So stick around. It's going to probably run for about two weeks and we'll probably announce the winner, winner around Christmas time. So time is running out. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss out and follow along on Instagram as well, because you may get a little bit of a sneak peek ahead of the release video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate the continued support. I'm running upward for the channel. I'm running upward for you guys end the year strong. Let's end the year strong together and uh, stick around. More videos coming. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.